Hello and welcome to MIDI's Tech Circle. In today's video I want to show you some amazing tips and tricks to handle the Galaxy S9 Plus or every other Samsung Galaxy device with the current Android 8.0 or Android 8.0 Oreo software. And yeah, let's begin. So the first thing is for everyone with a Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, Note 8 and Note 9 and S9 and S9 Plus of course. So let's say every uh, Samsung device with the Bixby button. So normally when you press the Bixby button, you will, um, you will, or the Bixby <laughs> button will take you to the Bixby home um, section here. And it could be also annoying because you accidentally press it or when you want to lock your device, you, um, I don't know, by accident, you press this Bixby button, which also happens sometimes to me. Um, and yeah, you want to know how to disable it. I have it here for you. It's pretty easy. You will see an icon here on the right top corner. Um, so that's a gear icon sort of thing with a Bixby logo in it, you just tap it and then you will see an option for the Bixby key so that you can disable the Bixby key when you tap it accidentally. So I will show you this. So let's press the Bixby key and you see nothing happened. But when you hold it down, Bixby voice will be launched. Okay, so yeah, you see that that's pretty easy. Um, of course, if you want to use this key and not just to be useless because if you don't use Bixby voice and you have disactivated the Bixby key to take you to the home screen and you want to take advantage of this key here on the site, um, you can go to the Play Store, you type in VX Actions and you see you get this application which works wonderful. So with this app, you can, um, you can let's say, set specific things for the Bixby key. So you, you can, for example, um, set that when you press it, the Google Assistant will launch, the torch will be enabled. Um, you can skip with the key then to the previous or to the next music title. So you get a different lot of options with this app. My next favorite feature has to do something with the edge panel and that is Smart Select. So with Smart Select you get pretty amazing options in my opinion. So yeah, that's something you can really use productively and what it does, you can take screenshots, but not um, normal screenshots, so you can take much uh, yeah, nicer screenshots or screenshots in another way. So you have the rectangle options. What it can do, you can crop a specific um, part of the size. So let's say we want to, oops, I, I don't want to push here my Galaxy S9 out of the camera. So let's say you want to crop just an app icon. So let's take the Play Store one. Boom, we are done. Then you tap done and here you are. So here you have many different options. You can draw on it, you can share it, you can set it as an always on display picture, you can save it to your gallery or you can extract the text. So let's try this and you see that was not that difficult because there was just this little text here. But you can see we got this extracted text, Play Store of course. You can copy it into your clipboard or you can share it. So I tested this a lot with much more text, for example, under an Instagram picture or under or in from a Wikipedia article and this works pretty amazing. So this can, yeah, this can let you do just amazing things. Then you have the option to, yeah, let's say to take an oval picture. So you will see the circle here and within the circle, everything will be screenshotted. I don't know if you say screenshotted, but uh, as you can see here, we have the circular shot or a screenshot we have taken. And again, you can analyze this with Bixby Vision. If you have Bixby on your phone, you can draw on it, you can share it, you can set it as an always on display and you can save it to your gallery. The next thing is 
a GIF animation. So if you want to take a GIF of something, you can do it here. You can select the high quality or the standard quality option. Then you can, um, yeah, let's say you can um, adjust the, yeah, the region or the size of it. So where you want to take something by this um, circle here, you can move it around. And let's say we want to record how this widget moves. Okay, so nothing is moving there, but you see, then you would get a GIF of a video from YouTube or something else you have recorded. Then you can draw on it, you can share it and save it to your gallery. So I use it, for example, um, when I see something, uh, a funny video on Instagram and I don't want to download this Instagram video. I just use the GIF maker here from the smart select um, edge screen. Then you have pin to screen. So what this does, you can pin a specific region um, as a picture. So let's say we want to pin this one because we want to um, write a text about our setup. So this doesn't make sense, but I hope you know what I mean. And then you can see we can continue to, um, to use our phone normally and we still have this um, picture or this screenshot we have taken here. So then you can minimize it. So that will be just a little rectangular symbol here. When you tap it, it will go um, in full screen. You can save it by tapping on the left icon and you can close it like this. The next thing, don't have to do something with the Samsung software, but it's something I want to mention um, because the Galaxy devices have an AMOLED screen and um, you can take advantage of it um, if you have something dark. So for example, this iPhone XS Max or XS wallpaper, I don't know from which one this is, but it looks great because you have an AMOLED screen. So this black you see here, these are just deactivated or disabled pixels and that's a true black and these pixels are turned off and these are on so this will save a little bit of battery not that much that you will notice it in day-to-day -day usage but yeah you know this looks just great great because of the contrast you get here with this wallpaper and another thing is in the YouTube app so this won't save you battery because this is not a true black so that's a little bit more of a gray grayish dark i don't know how to explain which color this is but it's not the black you see here or the black theme you get in the reddit app so yeah uh, the dark mode in youtube you can de uh, enable it by going here into the settings then to general and then you will have the dark theme option so you can see how bright this um, white theme is and that the dark theme is much much better for the eyes for also um, when you are watching YouTube in the evening and um, you want just not to be flashed by the white interface. My next favorite feature is in the settings option and this is just for um, the models for example which have a fingerprint sensor of the newer generation which is on the back. So I speak um, of the Galaxy S8, the S8 Plus, the Note 8 and the Galaxy S9 series and the Note 9. So you go into the advanced features section here and then you will have something called finger sensor gestures. So I turned it on and what it does, you can swipe down for expanding the notification shade then if you swipe again down, you can expand it like this. And when you swipe up on your finger print sensor, then you will completely um, uh, put the quick toggles and uh, the, the notification shade away. So this is a great option to just simply, yeah, to just bring the uh, notification shade in action. And another thing which is about the no notification shade to bring it um, or to pull it down is here on the home screen. So as you can see, when I swipe down everywhere on the home screen, I can bring the notification shade down. And again, I have more of the toggles here. And 
yeah, how to do this is by simply going here into the home screen settings and then you will have an option to quick open notification panel. So if you disable this, you will be brought by a swipe down to the app drawer. Um, as well, you can also swipe up to go to the app drawer. But uh, when you enable the quick open notification panel setting, when you swipe down, you will see that the notification shade is coming down and you can still swipe up to go to the app drawer. So in my opinion, you don't have to swipe to have both options um, to go to the app drawer. So you can use one um, much better when you set this option here or when you enable this option, I mean. And my last tip is, um, yeah, something I would say basic, but uh, something you forget or many people aren't doing when they get a new smartphone. So let's pretend you get a new smartphone. You will have, or what I would suggest you to do is make it yours. Just make it yours. Remove icons uh, you don't need on the screen bring up new icons, um, reorder them, may put here some widgets which you find useful and you could use every day. So make your home screen and app drawer more productive. And also you can install themes by going into the Samsung theme store. You will need a Samsung account for this, but um, here you will find uh, many themes. One I am currently using is, uh, I would show you is, this one this is the high contrast theme from samsung um, but if you don't like these icons like here in the screenshot and you don't want to have just a black wallpaper that's um that's understandable so what you can do i change the icons to the stock one by simply going again under themes then icons and then you will just have to select the default icon pack and you will have still the theme activated you can see here this black interface and all the stock apps um, so yeah you will then have the stock icons and still have the theme enabled also you can then put a wallpaper you want so to match the theme I just don't want it to make a bright wallpaper. I selected this one because it's a little bit dark one and colorful. So I like the contrast and that that that's po that pops really um, up this color here because it's an AM AMOLED screen. So I like this a lot. And also reorganize your app drawer, make some folders and so on. So that are or these are just basic um, things you can do. If you have any suggestions on um, what tip and tricks you want to know or what video I should do next, just leave them down into the comment section and I will see you soon back here on Midi's Taxical. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Bye everyone.